Hello my people, it is your redneck from Kelly Nate. And we have some boxes upon boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff in the mail today. Um so a big shout out to the US Postal Service because I feel bad for these men and women who have to go stuff all of Nate's boxes in those little small parcel lockers. So I feel bad for them, but thank you guys. Big shout out to you. Before we go to the boxes, I did want to show you the comics that we picked up yesterday from Hypno. Um, big shout out to George, Holly, and everybody out there. Thank you guys so much um, for some good stuff. Did a couple of trade-ins for some of the other books. And they threw in a couple extras too. So, um, so yeah. So what I'm going to do is, is those extras are going to go in the giveaway. I'm just They're just going to be thrown in. I'm not telling who they're going to go to, but they're going to be thrown in. Um, Without further ado, the books for this week. So first up, we got Venom, 154. Um, I am really digging the Venom books. I, I mean, I haven't been this excited. I think it's because it's Eddie Brock now as Venom again. It's not, you know, Lee Price. It's not everybody else. Um, it's not Max Gargan, who was the Scorpion before he was them. Um, I will say the Space Venom wave was was pretty good series. I liked I liked that series, but. Eddie Brock has always been my Venom. That's the one I grew up with in the 80s and, or 90s. So, so yeah, I'm happy to see it. Of course, we got Venomverse, number three. And this is the variant edition. This is that inter, uh, interlocking or interconnecting uh, set. So, definitely, I was happy to get that one. And then, of course, I got the regular version as well. So, um metal so i read both marvel dc and a couple of other things out there so that's just who i am i like a wide variety of books you know it'd be independents like shock or boom or um aftershock comics um those kind i like those image has some great books curse words highly recommend it um if you haven't read it yet go out and read it um same way with redneck of course i like redneck you know so hey i am the redneck from cali so hey i would hope that you guys go out and watch it but we did, uh, Metal did come out again this week. So first up we got Nightwing number 29. It's the tie-in. And then this is more of an official, like this is a looser tie-in. But this is one of the official ones. Because you can tell it's got the foil metallic cover. And this is Batman the Red Death. And it's got the flash with the Batman symbol on him. So I'm excited to read this. This has been one of my favorite series to read. Um, of course, I'm always an X-Men fan, um, so definitely had to go get my Jean Grey fix. And this is one of the extras she they gave me. They gave me another one. So this book will go into one of the winners from the 800 sub giveaway. Um, then of course we got X-Men Gold. And if you haven't read um, Gold or Blue, it's kind of like the old days. Like when you had the gold team and the blue team, you know, and then of course the gold team today is, is pretty much all the regular X-Men, whereas blue is the uh, five X-Men that got stuck in the, in the present from the past. And then we got Miss Marvel, Miss Marvel, the Generations variant edition. And this is another one they gave me an extra copy of. So this extra copy is going to be going to somebody else. So yeah. And then, our favorite thing in the world, Comic Shop News. And I always dig these. I always do. I mean, and this is based upon Legacy, so I will definitely be reading this one in nauseum because I'm ready for Legacy to happen. That's kind of how the whole thing was built up. You have Secret Empire, Generations, and now we have Legacy coming in. So, big shout out to the guys at Hypno Comics. Thank you guys so much for everything. I really appreciate it. Okay, so we got a bunch of boxes. We're gonna do. We're gonna unload them um, or, un, or unbox them. Uh, but I'm gonna save the three boxes from Nostalgic Underscore Negotiator for last. So let's get through the rest. So first up, we got. This is from my boy, Brad Campbell. Brad Campbell and I have been trying to do a trade for five months now. <laughs> um, I've been trying to find him stuff, and he find me stuff, and 
we've been going back and forth. Um, really good dude. So if you guys don't know who he is, go hit him up. Um, he definitely is out there on the Syndicate family page. Really, really, really easy to get along with. So definitely go check out Brad. And he had found this one for me a long time ago. Um, and this is actually, um, this isn't for anybody here that lives in my house. This is for uh, my my wife Jess's sister, Angela. Um, but he found me a Wonder Woman. So yeah. Now the box did get jacked up, you know, in the bottom. So, so I think it just got jacked in general. Um, but I think Angela's still going to like it regardless. You can just take it out of the box, have fun with it, you know. So, yeah. So, Brad, thank you, dude. I've got your list. I'm going to try to get you hooked up when I can, brother. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Next up. Well, this one ain't got any um, return address on it. So this, I think, is from Anthony, um, and it's without an H, Anthony. I think it's Robertson is his last name. But this box, they done played hacky sack and soccer with this box, so let's pray what's ever in it is okay, because it's a jackdaw. <laughs> they had a fun time with this one. Um, and I pray that it's okay. But I will say, regardless of the shape it turns in, dude, thank you so much for helping me out with this one. Because I really wanted this one. I could not find it anywhere. Um, all stores have failed me now. Oh, my God. Okay. Now, that's just all the packing in this thing. And, oh, dude, you are freaking awesome. I'm going to show it to you in just a second. Because Daddy's excited. Because my GameStop in Georgia had failed me on this one. Um, and I think it failed some other people too. Um, but I guess it was only in the States it was like this. Because it wasn't like this in the UK. Um... There we go. Because what we have, the bloody xenomorph from Alien Covenant. And this is from Crackers. I guess that's the store in the UK he got this from. And it's got, it's actually in a, it's in a protected case. So dude, thank you so much, Anton. I can't thank you enough. So that completed the whole wave for me because I got all of them now. Um, cause I picked up the xenomorph and neomorph here. And then I already had Daniels and David. I think they're in a box somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. But this is the bloody one. And this is the one I wanted. You know, so like I said, it's got the exclusive sticker. It's not the GameStop exclusive. But it's the same thing. So, thank you, brother. I appreciate it, man. Alright, time for the drinky drink, as Plastic would say. And yes, this is a McDonald's, and this is a sweet tea, because that's the only place I can find sweet tea at, other than a raspberry tea. And I just want regular sweet tea, you know. Thank God for Walmart McDonald's, I guess. <laughs> because that's the only places I can find them. Um, Alright, next up. Let's see, this is from Toink Toys LLC. So we'll have to see what's in here. Because um, you never know what you're going to get in a box. Oh, yeah, buddy. Bam! As Cincy would say. I'm not copywriting. Cincy, you have that copyright. But this is freaking awesome. This is the Tales of Suspense first appearance Iron Man from the Mojo. I needed this so I can get that damn build a figure done. Um, so yeah, but I do love, I lo and that's kind of the catch with this whole wave, 
is that I actually like the whole wave. I mean, there's really not a bad figure in this wave. You know, so I've got, because I've already got Psylocke, Longshot, Baron Zemo, Falcon, Iron Man. So all I need now is Luke Cage, and I can finish up Mojo. So, this was on Overstock.com, people. Um, Jess and I were looking for books out there, and I just, by Gainer, of course, put Marvel Legends in the search, and they had this one. They still got this one, so, and it was only, I think, 20 bucks. So, if you need, if you need this Iron Man, go out there and get it. I'm going to put a link down in the description below, so if you want to go grab it, it's there. So, yeah. Iron Man. Because I don't have a first appearance Iron Man at all, you know, not in the old Iron Man series, like the movie, or even the older one, so it is nice to actually have this one. Alright, next up, this, it feels kind of heavy, this is from, this is from my brother from another mother, who I did a collab with in April, Big Kid Kingpin, Steve Segovia, so, uh, Big Kid and I did a trade, like I trade with everybody else, everybody knows that. Um, he was looking for some stuff, and actually it's funny, I sent, I sent him another box yesterday. Um, so Steve, uh, you got some more stuff coming to you. Um, but, let's see what he sent. What did you put in here? So, um, yeah, it was funny because Steve and I were talking the other day, um, we were going back, you know, we had a video conference we were doing the other day, and I told him I was looking everywhere for this one. Um, so, what we got is the Pork Chase, and this is freaking awesome, because... This is for Jess. So, Jess, if you see this, then you know this is the birthday gift that Big Kid sent you. So, we got us a Chase Pork. And all I can say is, man, with all these uh, uh, Porgs, man, they remind me of an Ewok. That's all I can say. They remind me of an Ewok. Oh, my God. There's, there's some other cool stuff in here. These are wicked old, dude. Where did you find these? You must have found these at those antique stores, I bet. Um, yeah, T-Man will remember these, and so will uh, D-Bag. Some of the other bot guys, Nostalgic, probably remember these, too. So these are the uh, Ultra Changers from Robots in Disguise. This is Wars and Crosswise. That is awesome. And it's got this and it's got an old Toys R Us sticker on the top of it. So freaking A dude. And then he sent me um this oh it's a Vector Prime. So this is the Legion class or whatever it was called back then. Vector Prime from Cybertron. Otherwise known as Galaxy Force in Japan. So freaking awesome. And then Okay, this is the other one I knew he was sending. Um, yeah, buddy. So, speak of the devil. Uh, curse words. Number one. Signed and illustrated by Charles Sewell. Um, freaking A. <laughs> and like I said it's image so of course it's going to be different so thank you thank you so much Steve I really appreciate it brother this is definitely going into the collection and just going to be hanging out for a long time like I said shout out to image go read curse words alright so he's, he's going to go into stack books over here now we're going to get to some other goodness Ugh. called From the Realm of Japan from my brother, 
Nostalgic underscore negotiator Steve Benson. He hooked a brother up. And I sent his box um, to hoping it gets there to him soon. Because we sent we sent like literally the same day. So I'm hoping it would have showed up at his place. But we're gonna do a small then go go bigger, so to speak. So let's see. And really good, like I said, if if this is your first time on my channel, thank you guys for coming by and watching. I appreciate it. I do everything from comics to toys to you name it. Vinyl. It if it's collectible, I probably do it. Probably. <clears throat> um so let's see. What did he send? Holy mother. Oh, dude. <laughs> he knows I love these ones. Put these over here for a minute. S.H. Figuart, Son Goku. Freaking A. Oh, yeah. That's awesome, dude. Because I've been... So, backstory is... S um, Steve got me started on these because um, he had sent me a Piccolo and the Super Saiyan Vegeta a long time ago. I want to say in the spring, spring of this year maybe? Yeah, or maybe around my birthday. He sent me those, and I'm hooked on those. So this is about the only DBZ thing I'll collect. Now, I'm a huge Dragon Ball fan. Those superstars out there, they look amazing you know, in their own rights for 25 bucks each. But these... That's my articulation. And I will say the other one that does pretty good, though, is the Bandai uh, Standard Rise. Those ones are pretty articulated. I have the Super Saiyan 4 Goku one, um, and it's really articulated like that. So this is awesome, dude. I really appreciate it. And let's see. They sent me... Okay, it's called a Snap Hero. Uh, and this one's Brawly. <laughs> Brawly, dude. So, that's freaking awesome, dude. I appreciate it, man. Brawly. Yeah, I'm definitely getting put together probably tonight. <laughs> uh, so. Dude, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Um, and that's just box one, people. Dude, I would have been happy just with the Sun Goku, man. You know? So, box number dos. And, so... Oh. As you guys can see, it says Nostalgic Negotiator. This has also been the Plastic Attic. So I, of course, I am going to put my, uh, my two cents onto, actually, yeah, I'm going to put my, my, uh, stickers on it too, or, uh, name on it too, because this going to get sent to the next brother, or, or girl, depending on whoever trades, um, so, I'm, I'm excited, I'm really excited, I'm sorry guys if I'm like stumbling over words today. I'm just excited for these because when you see that amount of boxes show up and you just you know what's going to happen, you're going to find a lot of good goodies out of it. You get excited, and if you don't, something's really wrong with you. Especially when, like you know when somebody does a good trade with you like this. Um, let's. So, a lot of people ask me, um, what's my favorite anime? Macross. And this is the Do You Remember Love Super Valkyrie VF1A. Um, this, of course, is the Max Million Genius um, Batroid. So, this is a Batroid Valkyrie. Valkyrie and... Yeah, of course, it's done by Hasegawa. Hasegawa does amazing with their ones. 
But you know what's different about this one, guys? This says May 19... What is it? I just saw it. Where is it? Oh, never mind. Copyright, 1984 Big West. Um, but yeah, this is... We definitely putting this guy together. Of course, uh, I don't, this one doesn't transform or anything. It's just a model kit, so it's going to be put into this one. But uh, I can't thank you enough, man. I really can't. We're going to have some fun with this brother. Um, all right. Last but not least, the last box for the night, guys. Um... And like I said, I can't thank you enough, um, Nostalgic, for doing all this for me. Because it's not just, you know, sending the stuff and everything. A lot of us, you know, we go through a lot of things, you know, going out and hunting and trying to find everything. Uh, Josh Pence and I were kind of talking about that, I think, yesterday. Um, how much we time it takes sometimes to hunt, do videos, and do all that. We do it because we like to, okay? We love showing you guys what we get. We love hunting. And it shows other collectors out there what's out there. Um, and then you get to see some really cool stuff. Like, for example, you go to Japan, you see all the stuff they have here. I mean, like, yes, we get these over there, but, you know, these are made in Japan, you know. You get things like these little things. We don't have these in the States. This is made by Bandai, I believe. Yeah, Bandai. Yeah, you ain't seeing this kind of stuff in the States, you know. So it's cool to see different things. Um, <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> because we got Art Fire, baby. Masterpiece. Number MP37. Cybertron Target Master Sniper. Art Fire. I don't have Inferno or Grapple yet. But I need to find them. But I had Art Fire. I had that one, you know, when I was younger. And to get into Masterpiece is even awesome. Because, dude, this is a sweet, sweet thing, man. I really appreciate this. And that ain't it. He got more stuff in here. Um, oh, my, ain't that precious. <laughs> It's a little bitty Beerus. And that's so cool. Beerus. These are the Tamashi Buddies. Yeah, I've seen these around. He knows I'm a huge Dragon Ball fan. So, that's amazing. And just for these little things do, too. It's kind of cool. Kind of a little like a display stand and everything like that. So, I'm going to have to go find that um, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan... Uh, Goku to go with it. And then he sent some stuff for Ava too. Some of these Hello Kitties. Because she's really into that now. So um, I think she'll really like it. And these are like made really nice too. I mean, like really nice. You know, when it comes from Japan too, it just has a different feeling to it. Um, so, like I said, big shout out. To my boy, Nostalgic Underscore Negotiator, um, Steve Benson, and he did the same thing, he signed it, so that's what we're going to do with all these boxes guys, we're just going to keep signing them and send them around now, so once one person starts, we all keep going, um, and you guys probably started noticing, I don't put Nate on mine anymore, I put Syndicate Santa, because I got dubbed that, so it stuck with me, so that's my address now. So if you're going to mail something to me, it's like you're mailing it to the North Pole. Say, hey, Santa likes gifts too. Um, so yeah. So um, thank you so much, everybody. Um, nostalgic, Big Kid Kingpin, um, Anthony, Brad Campbell. Thank you guys so much on the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it, guys. Um, there probably will be no hunts this week, 
just as a heads up. Um, reason being is that next Saturday, one week from today, you will see Fernie Fern, Esos Hunters, IE Hunter, Mikey's action figure, me, you know, and um, Wayward Hunter, um, and let's see, our boy Code 3 Collector, um, Brock, and then we're going to see whoever else wants to come. Uh, John Diaz, I think, said wanted to come, as well as uh, uh, Greg. So there'll be a lot of people come next week, um, next Saturday to Frankenstein. So if you can join us and you're in the SoCal area, come down and hang out with, with the Syndicate Santa and the rest of the Syndicate folks. Uh, we're going to have a good time. We're going to go do, do some hunting, see what we can find. Um, and we're just out there to have a good time. That's all it really is about people. And that's what all this is about, is going out finding the things you like, and then having a good time while you do it. So this has been your Redneck from Cali, Nate. Thank you guys so much for being here and being supportive. Um, I do want to give a big shout out to my wife, Jessica, too, because uh, birthday's coming up on Monday. So happy birthday, baby. Um, I got some stuff for you, too. Um, thank you, big kid, for that gift for her. Uh, I really appreciate it, man. And... I wish, I wish you the best, you know, in life with us, with our kids and everything else. And then most of all, just, I love you, baby. All right. Y'all take it easy now. Have a good one. All right.